fuck going on here? Wait, did that? This is how to not approach girls at the gym. I hate this. I hate this. I hate when there's sweaters. It's me so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like fucking feral. There's mirrors everywhere, so it's like you can easily ca catch people. Act. Oh, this is nothing. Okay, she like this pissed me off. Five ads. Five pounds. This is actually just like manipulation. I know. That's what it is. Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. What if I just ripped his pee pee out of his socket so he can never reproduce again? This is why I don't want kids. Natural selection better take these weirdos out. He's going to jail for staring at an underage 21 year old. Well, 21 is Wait, not what? underage. <laughs> One, two, natural selection should take you out. Three, everything about this video is straight fucking ego. From you picking up a weight going, oh, this is easy, to you just, okay, if you go to Lifetime Fitness Equinox, one of these like luxurious gyms, mm -hmm. they have millions of squat racks. So like, you're very rarely gonna be in a situation where there's not a squat rack for you to use or mm -hmm. deadlift area for you to use. Mm -hmm. But when you go to like LA Fitness and stuff like that, sometimes it's harder, especially at peak hours to get access to one. So like when you're waiting for one, you kinda have to eye down the person who's on it because if they're done, someone else is going to sneak in and then boom, next thing you know, you have to wait another 15 minutes before you can do your set. I got to play in fitness. You're right. People just do this because there's not enough, like, um... You have to. Not enough equipment. It's not even an that's, option. That's if you, if you don't do. just keep keep an eye out, bro, the second she's done with her set, there's someone else is else taking that. In, yeah. Every time. I see it all the time. And so, like, so just so they don't think, like, other people who are waiting around, they don't think that you're doing something else, or people just tend to do it, just kind of, like, stand and just kind of wait around. However, even when she's calling a stare, it's just a glance. No, I just swear. Like, and she cut out this nigga's sets. And they cut, yeah. I know he's out. lifting back yeah. there. He And she's cutting it out. Five ads. Five pounds. And, and she made it seem as if like the guy is like harassing her, bro. He just came up there to help you put the weight on because you're taking so fucking long. You're I wish there, talking to yourself like, oh my god, oh my god. The nigga in the back, he's, I promise you, thinking to himself, bro, if you don't hurry up and fucking lift these damn weights, I'm trying to get not, my, I'm trying to thinking, get my reps on. He's not thinking that. You're not thinking that because sometimes when you lift heavy, you have to take more time in between sets. But like, I wish she's and I was, talking to herself. So that's though. the thing, though. That's the reason why I'm he's not gonna lie to you. Her. Sometimes I'll record when I'm at the gym because, uh, like, like twice a month I post on my IG story and mm -hmm. I just like to post fitness stuff from time to time when I hit a new PR or whatever. And like, people will look like, oh, no, he has a camera. Yeah. But I'll point the camera at me, obviously. But like, I can see why people look now because there's people like her. That like use it as an opportunity to embarrass others. I'm really just trying to record myself. Last time I was recording myself, I was trying to do 200 pounds on a bench uh, for five reps. Yeah. And it was a kind gentleman who offered to spot me. Yo, bro. I let this shit play. I just was sitting here thinking like, when niggas go to the gym, bro, niggas want to go and get out of there, bro. Niggas is rarely thinking like, I'm about to. Like, the gym is so weird. Like, it's almost like an unspoken thing in the gym. Like, you don't even want to really approach any joints unless they speak to you first. At least where I'm from, or, like, when I go to the gym, it's really, like, not, it's not even on the, like, just trying to be weird shit. It's just because of shit like this. The nigga is minding his business, bro. You have a camera pointed at this nigga, bro. Like, you got to think about it. You're across the room, speaking. You're probably taking, like they said, being a, taking mad long. And I'm, I can see that I could possibly be in this frame or this, or this video or whatever you're doing. And it's probably like, and again, when you're in the gym, bro, you be just looking around. Like, you don't even just be staring at people. Just look around because you're in between, like, in between sets or whatever the case may be. So you look around, you know, saying pace. Or, all right, yeah. Go back to doing the set. Finish the set. All right, yeah, cool. We're looking around. Maybe thinking about for your, where you're going to go for your next machine, where, you, where your next reps is going to be at. Man, this shit is weird, bro. Like, and I get it. It's some real, it's some real live people out there getting harassed, and women who are really getting harassed in the gym. Understandable. This is not that, bro. This is not that. 
And then the, the act of kindness is be, like is being taken out of context and being some weird shit, bro. Come on, son. Come on. Because on my last rep, I, I almost dropped that bitch on myself. Yeah. All right. Did you ever think to yourself, this nigga is trying to hit on me, dog? Oh, man, this this 50 year old man. This nigga. What uh, shit is that? But the problem is, okay, I agree with you. And, that, and that's crazy. The problem is, though, that women like this, you seen the other one, too? I've seen so many of these guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> May I help you? Like, do we got a problem? You looking at me? The problem with this one and all the other ones is that they actually make it harder for the women who are genuinely getting yeah. harassed because now it makes it seem as if like this is not really happening. That everybody, I'll just blowing all out. But of you can tell when it's actual harassment. Though. I know, but they still are making it harder for people to like, believe them and, and convey their problem because now people are gonna be like, "Oh, you, you probably wouldn't run, probably wouldn't run. You just sitting there struggling. He was trying to help you out. Da 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 da." Honestly, this is this is actually I say a big reason why women don't want to go to public gyms and guys no longer really want to go to public. I don't gyms. like going to. I think I don't like going to the. Um... Thankfully, I will, I don't even know if I ever been a part of no shit like this. This is on record or some shit, but. I, when I go to gyms, bro, I don't talk to nobody. I go in there, do my workout, go home. If the people at the front desk, oh, hey, how you, like, I keep it respectful, like, oh, hey, how you doing? People make, we make eye contact, how you doing? That's it. But outside of that, my nigga, I'm not sitting there and having a full-blown conversation or sparking up a conversation. Only other, only other conversation I'm use, I'm doing besides, hey, how you doing is, uh, how many sets you got left? Uh, you gonna be on here long? Oh, sorry, excuse me. I'm I'm my way. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 very minimal because it's 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 like a weird it's a weird this is a weird thing, bro. Niggas don't got time for this, nigga. Niggas wanna go to the gym, go to the crib, do whatever else you gotta do. This is this is too much, bro. Out of uh, Planet Fitness because it's too many people there. I hate it. Yeah, I not hate. Well, hate is kind of no. I hate. You well, hate I, I'm anti-social. I don't like being around any people. It's a lot of people, bro. I mean, like I'm the whole parking lot be full. Get there, bro, and there be people like just standing around waiting to use the um equipment. Mm -hmm. So probably I should just go to a different gym. But I hate it, bro. I just can't. I can't stand it, bro. I feel unsafe. I feel unsafe. Fuck? I know, I know, I know. She, she's not unsafe. That's the craziest part. She's not. If she's not unsafe, oh, this. I got it. First and foremost, as I've said before, there is a big difference between staring at somebody and simply looking or glancing at them. Mm -hmm. So why did this man look at you? Well, you're in front of him off to the side. You're in his peripheral. You're also taking a video with your camera pointed directly at him and you're talking to yourself. He's probably watching you wondering, what is she doing? I know I would. Also, you talk about, why would this man come over and help me load my plates? Well, if you watch the video, he sees that you struggle putting plates on the other side. Now, any experienced lifter out there knows when you have a barbell on the ground, if you're doing hip thrusts, if you're doing deadlifts, it's very difficult to put plates on. There's actually a jack they make for you to be able to lift up the barbell so you can put the plates on. He sees that you struggled being an experienced lifter and he comes over to try and help you because that's what kind people do. Mm. Any experience. Yo, being nice can cost you some allegations apparently. Being a friendly good dude. That's lifter out there knows what I'm talking about. Mm. And I saw the comment where you guys talk about this was a man trying to help out a woman because a man would never help a man. That's not true. Uh, that's not this true is not that. misogynist. I would, I, random niggas in the gym have helped me, uh, uh, have bench pressed for me. Like, not bench pressed for me, like, spotted, excuse me. It's been a little, you know what I mean? But niggas have spotted for me. Like, all right, I random. Like, yo, you think you can spot this for me? You can watch over me real quick while I, you know what I'm saying? Max out real quick. I got you. Don't know this man. Shake his hand. I have to appreciate you, man. You have a good one, man. And going about my day, bro. So come on. Yeah, I've been people in the gym are some of the most nice, or most fun. Some of them are, or most of them that I've met are some of the most cool, chill, calm people that just want to go there, work out, and go home. You know what I'm saying? They make a bond, or they there laughing, joking around with some of the people they come with, or they willing to make friends. But for the most part, bro, they they all they trying to work out and go home, bro. In the gym, I've already been. Don't get me wrong. There's some people out there. I'm not trying to just you know what I'm saying dismiss the the fact that there are some people who are out there being creeps, freaks. Freaking off at the highest level, but 
most niggas is just trying to work out. Bro. In the gym and, and yeah, no, they they real helpful, bro. I ain't gonna lie. My are. fucking thighs flexing a little bit. Yeah. Never thought that, man. Now, like 80% of the people that have helped me in the gym have been guys. 20 mm -hmm. years. I can't tell you how many times I've helped nice. men and women load plates, take plates off, put weights back. It has nothing to do with sex or gender. You help people because it's kind to do. Mm, but it's very things. sad that you things. took an act things. of kindness, this man doing something for you, being wow. kind, and turned him into a creep at the gym, talking about how you want to rip his reproductive organ off, he can't produce, and that natural selection should take him out? Really? Trying to make yourself out to be a victim, which you're not. There are women harassed in gyms. You're not one of them. You need to do better. Mind your own business. It gets worse though. No, I bet. Um, she got her OnlyFans? So she went on Twitter. Oh, that, she, that, no, it's borderline crime now. No, no, wait. She went on Twitter and was complaining about how she doesn't like being sexualized by men. She hates the old idea of, like, being potentially harassed. And, you know, she don't want us to be sexualized. Come to find out she has OnlyFans, man. This world fucking sucks, low. This shit sucks. Private right? feed, man. So that, that means that in her head, she's like... Daily post. I reply to all DMs within 24 hours. Cosplay new PPV content per month, ASMR, early access, custom request. So you Only mean to, no, no, a month. You mean to tell me you was willing to make this guy look like a creep to the rest of the world so you can make money on OnlyFans? You fucking sick fuck. If there's one per- Nah, bro, I can't watch this. Man, hopefully this man life wasn't altered by this video because this is fucked, bro. Hopefully uh, this woman get what she deserved. And for the people out there that's really harassing women, I ain't gonna say what I think should happen to you, but um, hope you get arrested. You know what I'm saying? I hope something happens to you so you don't get to do that same shit again, man. And they get the justice they deserve. But for people like this, that's all right. Making falsehoods and just saying and doing whatever to lie, bro. There's a place for you. That's all I'm gonna say. There's a, there's a place for you, bro. Let me know how y'all feel about this one, though. But <laughs> yo, Agent and Son look crazy, right? I'm out.